Let's talk about what makes Angelina Jordan's performance of Million Miles awesome. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark, and I'm gonna help you sing and perform more like the top artists around the world. I'm a professional voice teacher, performance coach, and opera stage director. I've helped thousands of singers around the world learn the techniques and methods that got the top singers to where they are. After a listener suggested that I watch Angelina Jordan and react to one of her videos and analyze it, I've watched several more and just been so impressed by what I've seen. And so I'm excited to sh watch this with you for the first time and see what we see and talk about what makes her so awesome. Let's see how it goes. a child I walk the streets they see me growing up know you were all I need I seem in myself through all the years as luck is in my tears okay right off the bat what are we looking for well we're looking first and foremost when we're watching a performance for anything that's distracting is there anything here that's distracting is there any tension or stress or anything that communicates other than what she's talking about no not really. Second thing that we're looking for is, is it believable? Is what we're seeing and hearing matching, right? Does her body language match what her words are saying, match what the music's saying? Yep. One of the things that's so great that we're watching here is we don't see any excess tension here in our jaw. If we did see it in the jaw, we'd start seeing more of the bottom teeth. We'd start seeing some strain here. We'd see this jaw start jutting out a little bit or some other things that we might see. We might also see that tongue pulling back, getting tight and tense. That's staying pretty forward, flat and floppy and relaxed. We might also see some overextension here. Ah, really overly too wide. Not what we want either. But instead, when we watch her hurt, just nice, calm, relaxed, doing her thing. No excess tension. That said, if you do watch this jaw is released, huge, right? And we say, well, how do I know if it's my jaw is released enough? Um, well, you want to look and, and try to take your fingers here and press between your back molars. Uh, there should be enough space so that your fingers could fit between those back molars if the cheek skin wasn't there, right? Uh, if you watch her there, you'll notice even though she isn't opening her mouth super wide in front, she is releasing it really well here in the back and that's contributing a lot to that warmth and richness and fullness of the sound that we're getting without her having to push at all. So really, really excellent. I think what he's given me, the smiles and the memories, but now he's not here to hold me. In the light of the blue sky, I'm not alone to fight. I'll never regret what I do. We're a million miles apart. He was pulling my heart like an empty bubble to be thrown. So uh, I was driving along with my family and just a few days ago and I put some Angelina Jordan on, right? And I was like, just for fun, tell me how old do you think this singer is? And they're like, ah, uh, sounds like a 30, 40 something year old woman, right? And I said, no, nah, I think in this recording she that we're currently li listening to in that moment that she's probably around 12. Um, maybe even a little younger. And they're like, what? So there are two questions that that raises to my mind. Number one is, is she getting the sound in a way that's unhealthy for her age? Number two is how is she getting such a mature sound out of her voice? Let's tackle the first up front. So is she getting a sound that's unhealthy for her age? What I take away is, no, it's healthy even for her age. So then that begs the question, how? How is she making this incredible sound since she was a little girl in big time entertainment venues and on TV shows and all over the place. How, 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 how? Well, obviously technique is part of it and she has excellent technique and that's great. But as a lot of the viewers have mentioned, really what moves them the most is how connected she is, how authentic her communication is, right? We believe that she means what she's saying. 
there's so much variety and expression communication that's happening in her voice that it's unbelievable right especially with that age you would think that it takes some life experience some maturity to be able to tap into and really connect to a song and its text in the way that her voice is expressing it so for those of you who are huge fans of hers what do you think what is it that's led her to be that comfortable that secure that able to be vulnerable and open up to the audience and be that free with how she communicates and expresses herself is it her parents is it just who she is naturally i would love to hear your insight and what you have to say because i think there's a ton to learn from this young lady i mean really really phenomenal you said i'm watching you from the moon i'm everywhere see everything you do i can't see you but i know your head's like you're in my tears i think what is giving me the smiles and the memories but now he's not here to hold me in the light of the blue sky i'm not alone to fight i'll never regret what i do okay something i want to point out her gestures are very vertical. Well, what do I mean by that? I mean, if you watch some performers, their arms, you'll see a lot of space between their side and their arm, right? Right? It's really horizontal. They play really big and out this way. She keeps her elbows pretty in. She'll play up and down, but for the most part, she's playing very tight to her body. But what does that communicate to us as an audience? Um, and this isn't the only place I've seen her do this. She's done it in other videos. Yeah, have there been moments that I've watched where she's really opened up more too? Yeah, um, but again, the question isn't, is that right or wrong, good or bad? It's what does it communicate and does it match her as a performer? Does it match what she sings? Here's what it communicates. What it communicates is it communicates still confidence, but that it's more controlled, it's more contained, it's a little more elegant, it's vertical, which matches her. She's a little, she's thinner in frame and it just accentuates this tall, elegant nature that she seems to have naturally on her own. It also communicates humility, honestly, in, in some manner. I don't know her at all. Um, I really haven't watched any of her interviews. I should do that. Again, my goal in these type of reactions is to watch videos and performers with as little foreknowledge as possible to see what it's like as a first viewer with someone, right? So I haven't done those things, but it is communicating humility. So whether she's really humble or not, that's what she's communicating. I have a feeling from the little I do know about her that she is a pretty humble, honest, sincere, genuine person. Um, this bigger place seems to not really suit her and not suit the song. If she's playing that big, it just wouldn't read as sincere and genuine. It just wouldn't for her. And so those two different styles both read confidence because she's playing big vertically, but she's not taking up a ton of space, which shows a little more awareness to what's around her, a little more sensitivity to what's around her, and also suits the style and that she's not moving a ton either. Okay, other thing is how is she accenting words? What makes her so expressive with what we were talking earlier? That's really what we're talking about. One of the things that makes her so expressive and makes us just get sucked in what she's singing and understand it and feel with her and, and feel empathetic towards her is how she's coloring and emphasizing specific syllables and words. If you listen here, she's really intentional, heart alone with showing us the words that really capture what she's trying to communicate. And she does that by increasing their dynamic level, by giving them a little bit more time, by giving them a little bit more color. Sometimes she'll riff on them a little bit. Those are all ways of accenting important syllables. The second key that she's doing is she's pulling off, making other syllables less important so they don't pull attention away from those important syllables. 
And finally, what makes it sound so awesome is that she does that in a way that's really smooth. It's like a roller coaster that's constantly going up and down. Not too abruptly. We don't want a sudden fall off and drop straight down. Otherwise, we die and hit the bottom, right? Not what we want. It's constantly smooth going up, but there's constant variance, and it's always smooth. That breath flow stays super consistent. Love it. I know I'm never Notice on the bottom there, it started as an uh, and then as she got higher and higher, we got more teeth, and it turned into more of the, an ah, ah, right? It's kind of a sound up on top. Give it a try. She's able to get away with that uh in the lower range. It made it sound warmer, richer, more soulful. As she transitioned through that middle upper register, she had to get more of that ah space in back here that let her smoothly adjust and transition up into those higher notes and keep it clean and clear. Loved it. Did you see that million miles on that miles? Do you see how the jaw swung down and back? Gorgeous. Like textbook example of what that jaw should look like. Love it. See that tongue stick out? Like. If it was super tense and tight, we wouldn't see it be able to stick out like that. Just saying. Not that we want that all the time. That's not what I'm trying to suggest. But it is a sign that that t tongue position and how she's using it in this song is staying flexible enough to allow it to move and to be able to go in that position. And it's working for her. I can't make it stop, but I know it my heart. Absolutely lovely, gorgeous singing, gorgeous song. As always, love how genuine and authentic she is. She is who she is and she just sings it with so much soul and conviction. Love it. Comment down below with what else you want me to react to, what you loved about Angelina and what you think makes her so awesome. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon page, check me out on wizio.com where you can send me a short video or audio clip for me to give you feedback on. And of course, book a lesson with me where I can help you sing easier and perform in a way that's more consistent, more confident, and just help you reach your goals and what you're wanting to do with your voice. I work from new singers through professionals with my passion being helping people see progress and growth and helping them reach their goals. So. Hope to see you sometime soon.